I'm not the kind of bloke who weeps during movies, but I must admit there was one movie recently where I did, uh, and that was Les Miserables. Uh, and there's a particular song in it, the character Jean Valjean is singing, Who Am I? Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's a huge question. Uh, most of the movie, in some ways, most of the story is about Valjean finding out who he actually is. So the uh, who am I question is one of the most major questions that uh, a human being can have, whether a Christian or not. And come to that, it's one of the two great questions that we have, uh, as well as the who am I. There's the question of who is God. And of course, we as Christians would want to go on and say that uh, you must ask that who is God question in terms of who is the Lord Jesus Christ. And what we love is when people uh, realize that uh, who Jesus Christ is, is the answer to the who is God uh, kind, of, kind of question. Now, the, the thing is, our culture loves to give answers. answers to the who am I, who am I question. And the way that it tends to give those answers is to talk about rights and freedoms. So, who am I? Uh, the rights and freedoms that I have, those are thought of as being the answers to, to who I am. Who am I? I'm someone with particular rights, with particular freedoms, and, and, and so on and so forth. But of course, who is God? Who am I? Who is God? The answer that I give to the who am I question actually is going to affect the answer that I give to the who is God question. And our culture that we live in uh, is a world that supplies very strong answers to the who am I question. Uh, and one of the things uh, that we teach both here uh, in, in Oak Hill College uh, and much more broadly as we go out uh, and teach in local churches across, across the country is what the Bible answers to the question, who am I, as well as what the Bible answers to the question, who is, is God. But the answer that's being scripted for us by the world around us actually is very much in terms of rights and freedoms. So, who am I? Well, the world says that I'm someone with particular rights in various ways. So we have to talk about what freedoms we have. But we have to talk about it in terms of the freedoms that the Bible says that we have. Not just the, the freedoms that we'd like to seize for, for ourselves. Therefore, one of the things we'll be doing is talking about what it is for a human being to have rights and freedoms as a creature of God. And what it is for a human being to have duties as a creature of God, both to God and to other people. And when it comes to rights and freedoms, we're going to be exploring something that a lot of the time we don't talk about, and that is the freedom of God. And one of the things that we'll find uh, is that the freedom of God is a glorious thing, and that it, it's something we ought to talk about more because of the difference that it makes to us, and because of the way that it's good news for the world.